yes, I have indeed lost my mind. We are checking out today Crayola washable no drip paintbrush pins. Paint is in the brush, 40 pins. And you can get these fairly cheaply over on Amazon, which is why I lost my mind because you never actually see the big set in stores. These are really popular with brush letters right now. In fact, a lot of Crayola stuff is popular with brush letters right now because they're very affordable, they're very accessible. Um, it's sort of a very low barrier of entry, which I think is really cool. And since I've been taking a look at Crayola's forays into brush pins lately, and since I'm gonna be doing a lot of Crayola stuff when I'm in Louisiana, thought we would take a look at these today. So recently I took a look at the Crayola Signature brush pin set and I'll grab that. And these are dual tipped with a brush on one side and an ultra fine tip on the other. So you guys can check out that video by clicking here. These are their they're paintbrushes, but I've used these before. I use similar to these and they're hard body. You can't squeeze them to get more paint out of them. So really they're just brush tip markers. Um, and these were available kind of before the other brush tips were available. And I think they might even have a bigger tip, although I've only reviewed their knockoffs before. So Crayola, no drip paintbrush pins have a unique design for smooth flow paint. Y'all should prop, I will bet you guys money that these are not paint, they are, um, I can't think of the words. It's just the, the same dye-based ink that's used in all of their other water-based uh, markers, just in a different form factor. A unique design for a smooth flow of paint. No squeezing required means no dripping, no leaking, and no mess. Just bright colors and Crayola's advanced washable technology for washability that you can trust. Washable technology for washability. Their washable technology is, tends to be glycerin and dye. Washability you can trust. Crayola no drip paint pins are formulated to easily wash from skin and most children's clothing. Not for use as a body or face paint. No water, no dipping, no spilling. Just apply brush to paper and paint. Paint is in the brush. And then they say eight classic colors, but we have, oh, I'm gonna be giving a lot of these away. 40 eight classic colors. See, so didn't say that on Amazon. I got, I got goofed y'all. And I wish I didn't have to open this cause then I could just donate it to actually. I could probably do it like this and then just donate it for, to a teacher. See, I got excited about this because I thought there were 40 different colors and the descriptions, y'all, we all need to get better about writing our Amazon descriptions because that was not mentioned. So, eight colors times what? Five, eight times math. We'll talk about math later. I think it's five different sets. So these are our eight colors, purple, blue, green, yellow, brown, orange, red, and black. What do you guys think I should do? Do you think I should separate this out into um, eight color sets and do five mini giveaways? I have a lot to give away. This is gonna be like the Christmas of giving. What do y'all think? Or should I find the teacher poll, my YouTube comments for a teacher who could utilize these in their class? And I should specify a teacher of children, please. If you're teaching adults, they can afford to buy, most of them can afford to buy materials unless you're teaching at like a hospital or like a prison and then you're still ad eligible and I'd still be interested in sending these to you. So this is what we get. Go ahead and pull out one of my Crayola signatures. No wonder you don't see, it. like, I never see that set at, the 40 color set at Walmart. Yeah, that's why. All right, so this is our signature. It comes with a detail pen at, and a brush tip. So this is the brush tip on our signature. Move on over. And this is the brush tip on our quote unquote paintbrush. It does not post. So you gotta hold on to this. And it's got those uh, 
except the breather holes are at a weird place. Usually with art supplies and such made for kids, you have to have breather holes because people, will, kids will put caps in their mouths, adults will too. Um, and it's to prevent them from asphyxiating while someone resuscitates them. Anyway, so the brush is of a similar length, but is constructed differently. They are both foam, not foam, I'm sorry, felt. So they're both felt tip brushes. One is more like conical pyramidal. The other one is cylindrical and um, conical, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna grab a scrap piece of paper. This will do. And that way we can compare the tips on these. Now, nice thing about brush tip Crayolas is they're less prone to surface abrasion of the paper, but because they use felt, like compressed fiber, they wear out very quickly compared to other types of brush pins. Whoa, that is actually surprisingly soft. That's not bad. I wouldn't necessarily say, oh, I could see why they love using this for hand letter brush lettering because there is a lot of flex. That's actually really cool. I might keep a set for myself and then give away four sets. Whereas, oh, on the other one, on the signature marker, it's actually, there's still some flex. There's still some line variation, but it's not nearly as flexible as these. And these put down a significant amount of ink on the paper. So these are actually better than I thought they were. I've reviewed the up and up ones and I've reviewed Dollar Tree ones before and those are terrible. So just get the Crayola ones. Now I'm actually really disappointed that there aren't 40 different colors in the brush, the paintbrush pin set because I really like these. Um, and I think they would be really fun and a good addition to my collection. So I'm going to rehome four of those sets and keep one of those sets for myself. So, I'll have to dispose of the brush, I mean the box later. So if you are a teacher or a parent and you teach people who would not necessarily have access to art supplies on their own, hit me up in the comments. The first four of you who um, let me know that you have a class that could utilize this, will I'll get in contact with you and I will send you Unfortunately, I can only send you eight because we're gonna try to send this to as many people as possible, but some are better than none, except when it comes to kids. Often it seems like none is better than some when it comes to kids because then they'll start fighting over it. Anyway, I am going to do a few tests today. We're going, I'm gonna fill this water brush up with water in a few minutes. I would love if these came with a blender brush that had the same uh, tip. That would just be super move on Crayola's part and would make these even more exciting. But first we're gonna swatch all our colors. And being Crayola, of course, the colors are very vibrant and colorful. And I like that the brush on these is soft. I like that there's some variation in the markers that they make. doesn't tear up the paper, fills in areas so much faster. I mean, these are still markers. These aren't, this isn't paint and these aren't paint brushes. These are still markers. But they're good markers and I wish they were available in lots more colors. And I wish the other Crayola brush tips had a brush like more like these because these are pretty nice. So we're gonna do some uh, marker to marker blending. Now the problem with yellow, always the problem with yellow is once you use yellow on top of another color, your yellow may be forever ruined. But we're gonna, these put down lots of ink, so it's still very wet. So we can just go ahead and blend like that. So not too much of a blend, but you may already see that some of the color, and I'll zoom in for you guys, super tight. The color is starting to disperse into the prior color which is nice. We're gonna try another blending technique where we do a fill of the lightest color. Then the next lightest color. Then our darkest color. 
And I was hoping, like watercolor, that would sort of ease the transition. It does mean that the red is more of a red-orange than a darker red, like here. All right, now we're gonna risk ruining this yellow. Do the fill. Now the orange. Go back with that yellow. There we go. Can blend out like that, can pick up color. So if you have some scrap plastic packaging around, you can actually do some neat techniques with color blending using these, picking up color from your prior color. And then we're gonna do red and then blend that out with the orange. So these are exciting because I can already think of a lot of techniques and a lot of tutorials for these. And they're very inexpensive. You can pick up the eight pack at Walmart very cheaply. So I'm already really excited about these because these, these already seem like a decent art supply at a very affordable price. My only complaint is that I got, I feel like I got tricked getting the 40 bucks because I thought I was getting 40 colors. It says 40 on the front the way it normally says 40 colors, but that could just be an ID 10 T or error. And maybe it was just too good to be true. So I am going to go fill my water brush up with water and I'll be right back. It just came to my attention that I should specify that I am, for the winners, I'm only going to ship within the continental US. I've done um, international contests before and the shipping costs ate me alive. So I am not set up to cover all that. I am just looking to rehome some art supplies to worthy home. So we start with our blue and we're using water here in a water brush, which is not necessarily what Crayola intended, but as you guys can see, it worked quite nicely, at least with that blue. Now we've got that purple. And you could probably use like a Tombow ABT or a colorless blender or a Sakura Koi colorless blender or basically any of the colorless blenders made for water-based brush pins will probably work with these. And I can test that out for you guys if there's interest while I'm in Luling since I have my Sakura Koi blenders over there. So far, all the colors blend out really nice, which is nice because the super tips blend out really nice. So you could maybe do something with both of those Crayola brands. Makes for a lot of inter-product usability. And I know that's something Kurataki Zig brags about, well-deserved brags about with their uh, Kurataki color system. Well, Crayola's got the Crayola color system. They just don't talk about it. And I will go ahead and blend out some of these since I'm running out of room. We need to do orange. And I think that's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're missing red. Oh, and yellow, that makes sense now. Oh, and black, which I'll blend out this way. Black's usually the one that gets kind of funny because it will separate out into lots of different colors, which can be useful. Um, it didn't really do that here, so that's cool. Anyway, these are, were a surprise. A very pleasant surprise, which honestly, here at my YouTube channel, I don't get a lot of pleasant surprises when it comes to cheap art supplies. It's usually horrible surprises where I'm like, oh no. But these were a pleasant surprise. I am pretty excited about these. Crayola, please, please think about putting some other colors into this lineup. I will buy them because, I mean, I already bought a 40 pack of eight colors, so eight times five. Um, but I think these have a lot of potential. I can definitely see why brush letterers are using them. They seem like a great way to practice your brush lettering, a lot of fun. And I really hope Crayola will take my suggestion and consider expanding their line of colors. And uh, if I were you and I was looking at these for illustration, other than just only having eight colors, which can be a challenge, I think these are great. And I would recommend them, especially if you have a young artist and you don't wanna buy alcohol-based markers for them and they're begging for brush markers. These, you can point them in my direction. You can say, Natto Soup told me to get them. I will back you up. I will vouch for you, mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, gramp. I'll be like, I totally told them to buy those and look at what I'm gonna make with these because I have a field test with these coming up. And these were tested on Fluid Easy Block, 
cold press, cellulose, that is wood pulp, base watercolor paper. You could also use these on say Canton XL, which is also available at like Walmart, Office Depot. So you don't have to go to any specialty stores to pick up a paper that will work with these. This is a tougher, heavier paper, about the same thickness as cardstock. So um, I have a feeling that with how much ink these put down, they would probably bleed through thinner papers or marker papers. So I would use a watercolor paper with them. So thank you guys so much for checking out my unbox and swatch video for the Crayola No Drip Paintbrush Pens. These were purchased out of my own pocket using funds garnered from my Patreon. So if you like what you see and you wanna see me continue to review cheap, affordable, accessible art supplies, head on over to patreon.com slash natosoup and join my art nerd community. I have four other eight color sets to give away and I'm looking to give them away to a parent or a teacher, somebody who deals with kids who love art, who want to make art, but maybe don't have access or can't afford art supplies. And I will send you one set of eight colors per entry. And um, it needs to be continental US only so that I can actually afford to ship them. I'm just gonna put them in a small mailing envelope and pop them off in the mail. So the first four of you, and I'm not gonna, uh, yeah, the first four of you to get in contact with me, I will get back to you guys and send you some markers to enjoy. So thank you guys so much for watching. Keep an eye out on this channel for the upcoming field test with these markers. Bye guys.